Gaston is lost. <laughs> Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! <coughs> Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes. yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston. Gaston? Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No. Has anyone seen Gaston? No. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. Gaston is lost. Nanny. 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning. But he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, oh, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. Well, there's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. <laughs> has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we 
we have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? Gaston needs rescuing. You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston! Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? <laughs> oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? Here! Uh, I can't see you. Are you invisible? No! Look down! Gosh, a hole in the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh. Ooh. It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. Got a ladybird to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming. Let's climb down. It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Well, Gaston! Gaston! Gaston must be so hungry. <laughs> I can hear voices. Someone's coming. Hide, everyone. In a dwarf mine, oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. <gasps> it's the dwarves. Dinner time. Good boy. When you finish that, there's pudding. I don't believe it. Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him. Right, lads. Back to work. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the Ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't? Hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> Baby dragon! <laughs> Go on, Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever! OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww, do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. Ugh, stinky! Ugh. Hmm, it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown! Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. <gasps> the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. <coughs> Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. <coughs> Aww, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Ladybird. What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <coughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly, home time. Oh, I've got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> ah! A baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree's in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! 
Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. Ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No, I think he's pleased to have a new friend. Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <sighs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. How's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are. Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Ah. Uh... Let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right then, home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! It's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Well, Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! Well, well, Gaston's the best pet 
in the world ever. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, hello Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Uh-oh. Goodness me, what a mess. Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind, I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. It's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs. Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages, getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh. How exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> 
we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop. Ah, uh, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink Thistle! Pink Thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Wise old elf! What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a... Slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs. Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs. Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm, this is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. 
Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup... Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's Snail Riding Club. Yeah! Snails? Horrible things! No, they're adorable! There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> Snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Go trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ooh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Oh, Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. 
Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Well, I suppose he knows where he's going. All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! Whoa! Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables! Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good! They're eating faster than we can carry! Snails! Stop! Oh, ho, ho, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. 
It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so! I can hear voices! was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Whoa! Like that. Oh, no. The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning, all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Good work, ding, chaps. Ding, Keep it going. Ding, ding. Hello. I want to speak to the boss. Is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, just pop down a second, OK? Right, you were saying? I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. 
Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. <laughs> Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! So old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. Okay, okay boss. boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here. Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why? How thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh. Oh. 
I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Today's adventure starts on the Elf Road. Fox Cubs! Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl. To it, to it. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. To it, to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the to it, to woo bit as well. Ta wit, ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the fox cubs are about. The fox cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food. Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and... Hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. 
like uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. Our magic us home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest, the enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice, perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> What good would that do? We could watch TV. Could a fairy fly for help? In that wind, you'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know. Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston, go. Get help. <coughs> it may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety, or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I set off in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was 
was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, thank you, old grey wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the Fox Cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mr. Elf takes a holiday. Food delivery! Ah, thank goodness. Breakfast at last. Yes, sorry, I'm running a bit late today. I have a splendid king's breakfast for you, though. Egg and baked beans. Egg and beans? But today is Tuesday. We have muffins on Tuesday. Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? That was yesterday. Was it? You've been working too hard, Mr Elf. No, no, no. I'm fine. You need a holiday. Yay! A holiday! And you can come too, Holly. Ooh, can I, Daddy? Yes, of course, Holly. Have a good time. But... I can't have a holiday. Who will make my deliveries? Nanny Plum can. No, I can't. Of course you can. Any fool can drive a truck. What? But, but I'm the king, remember? And I sentence you to a holiday. Hello, Mrs Elf. I have some terrible, terrible news. Oh, no. What is it? King Thistle. What about him? Has sentenced me to... Prison? I won't stand for it. <coughs> Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! <coughs> it's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> oh, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <coughs> Gaston. <coughs> Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. <coughs> Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. Prepare for a big splash. A desert island. Good. Everyone out. Wow. A real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling.
darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes, we can have our holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic! And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum, have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes, so I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! Yeah. How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says, trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! We found a message in a bottle from Ben Elf. Oh, my goodness. Launch Elf Rescue. We have a family to save. Elf Rescue are go. Dinner time. Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup, coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, oh, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! <laughs> 
Hello. We're here to take you home. Oh, thank you. But I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy. I'll have to sort that out. So home we go. Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes, bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. 